multi-day mass protest in Tbilisi fought in parliament and persecution of journalists and human rights activists. Exactly a month ago on April the 15th, Georgian citizens took to the streets of the capital to protest against the adoption of the bill on foreign agents. Since then, the protests have not stopped. Even during the Rose Revolution, I honestly don't remember so many people. More than 200,000 people came to the streets. These people will not stop. They are defending their freedom. We are defending our freedom. The current situation in Georgia is very reminiscent of the last days of Yanukovych in Ukraine, when he openly refused rapprochement with the European Union, when he openly went against his people. People. The same Titushki mercenary agents run through the streets of Tbilisi beating people. The same police officers beat people up. Protesters said police were using pepper spray, tear gas, water cannons and rubber bullets to disperse the protests. The Georgian Ministry of Internal Affairs called such statements disinformation. The department said it would allow the usage of force if people continued to block parliament. Georgian Interior Minister Vahtan Gomelauri threatened the protesters with prison for such actions. The Georgian dream ruling party has been in power for more than 12 years. Therefore, naturally, absolutely all institutions of power are currently subordinate to the ruling party. We have already seen so far isolated cases of officials resigning because of what is happening in the country. I don't rule out the possibility that many more people from both the ruling party and state institutions will simply leave. Well, that would be like, how to put it, to stay on the normal right side of history. Story. In the 2020 elections, Georgian Dream Party won a majority in parliament. In addition to opposition parliamentarians, the ruling party is also opposed by the president of the country, Salome Zurabishvili. But according to analysts, Georgian civil society plays the main role in opposing the Georgian Dream. There are a lot of opposition parties, and these parties have their own leaders, of whom there are also many. And if there is a conversation, for example, about elections, and if it is not possible to falsify them, then there will be, for example, some kind of coalition of opposition, pro-Western, pro-democratic parties. There are no problems with this. But now we are not talking about this yet. The point is that Georgian society is fighting for the future, the present of its country. The bill on transparency of foreign influence was condemned by European and American politicians. U.S. State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller said that the actions of the Georgian government were incompatible with the democratic values that underlie membership in the EU and NATO. In fact, Belize has jeopardized the country's prospects of Euro-Atlantic integration. On May the 14th, U.S. State Department representative James O'Brien met with the Georgian Prime Minister Irakli Kobahidze after the meeting, O'Brien said the law on foreign agents adopted in the third reading poses a threat to relations between United States and Georgia. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Andrei Dmitrenko, UATV News.